previously on The Walking Dead. I know who you are. I got another good one for you. been all by yourself through this yeah i want my parents to come home now and you you keep an eye on that front door you're our lookout it's doug you got it and i'm carly okay carly you'll shift in with doug you got it boss <laughs> son of a bitch one of them is bitten we kick his ass that's what i'm thinking Oh my god. And I don't give a shit about what happens to you, but if anything happens to my daughter or that little girl you've got with you, you watch your ass. Welcome everyone to episode 2 of Let's Play The Walking Dead Season 1. I am most of course Mr. Spinoz X. I really don't need to tell you guys what happened last episode. That's why I left that previously on The Walking Dead part. But yeah, there's going to be 6 parts into episode 2 everyone. But here are, 3 months later, the Axeman, Lee Everett, is back. What'd they get this time? Uh, looks like a rabbit. <sighs> well, that's another meal lost. <sighs> I still can't believe we went through all that commissary food in three months. It seemed like so much at the time. Maybe you shouldn't have opened the door. Yeah, except then I'd probably be food by now. Trust me, I have no regrets. Uh, rabbit's hardly a meal, Mark, but I'd take it. We're all hungry. No kidding. When I accidentally grabbed for Carly's rations the other night, I thought she was going to take off my hand. We're all on edge. Just cut us some slack. Yeah, you're right. I wish I knew for sure how much food we have left. We'll manage. Maybe. You know, some people aren't too happy about the way Lily's handling rations. But he knows it's important to keep the adults fed and functioning. Sometimes that means someone's got to miss a meal. You think Kenny's having any more luck than we are out here? I sure hope so. Yeah, between the lack of food and Kenny and Lily fighting all the time, things are getting pretty tense back at the motor end. You know, Kenny's been talking about taking off if he can get that RV running. Kenny won't abandon us. He's a good man. Yeah, I guess we'll see. Can't blame him, though. Did you hear Larry going off on him last night? What's the old guy's deal anyway? Seems like he's got a problem with you in particular. Who knows what Larry's problem is? Maybe that's just the way he is, but that guy needs to chill out. And I know Lily thinks he's getting weaker, but the guy's all muscle. He's a walking pile driver. I know I wouldn't want to be stuck in a room with him. And didn't he punch you in the face one time? Uh, knock me flat. It's a long shot. I'd hate to waste the bullets. Trust me, if I don't think I can hit it, I won't shoot. Well, I don't know. Come on. All right. So now we're introduced to this new character named Mark. Um, how did he get into the group? Well, he kind of was, you know, just driving by, and of course he had a couple food with him. That's why he just decided to stick around with the other, with the with the group, pretty much. But there is danger afoot. You must check it out.
Jesus Christ. Oh shit, no, no, please don't kill us. We just want to help our teacher, we'll leave, I swear. Lee, you guys okay? Get, get it off, get it off, God damn it! Get, get it off me. Travis, maybe they can help. These might be the same guys that raided our camp and we barely got away from that. What guys? Why the fuck is there a bear trap out here? I don't know, man. It's okay. We're not gonna hurt you. Don't listen to them, Ben. Please, just let us go. We're not a threat to you. Kid, chill out. We'll try to help you, but you gotta shut the fuck up. Lee, this is fucked up. Gotta help you. Please. Ben, shut up. My dad was special forces. I know what I'm doing. Just see if you can get him out. After that, you can leave us or whatever. I don't care. Please. Was he bitten? Bitten? No, I swear. Hurry, please, hurry. Lee, this trap's been altered. There's no release latch. Oh, no. Shit, walkers. It's now or never, Lee. Please, get me out of this. Mark, get the boys back. Kenny, keep those walkers off of me. All right, so we got to see if we could try to remove this bear trap off this guy's leg and well <clears throat> It's not really looking good for him um, Like Mark said, there's not a release hatch so the thing's been altered or something like that um, You can either choose to leave him and well, there's this difficult decision of chopping his leg off Sorry, man. The leg gotta come off. So much pain. Kind of a hard, hard, kind of a hard decision too. Ugh. Ugh. Here it comes, last one. It's like something out of saw. Out. He's alive. Grab him and let's go. Behind you, Travis. Come on, oh, come damn. on. We gotta move. Things aren't looking good for Travis. Yeah, definitely. Nope. Yeah, he ain't gonna make it. Yeah, he did. No! All right. Well, yep. Episode two, everyone. This episode two, it's a pretty crazy one for me. Um. There's going to be a lot of crazy things going to happen in this episode, everyone. And, of course, like I said before, six parts into it. Um, three months later, you know, everything looks good so far in the Motor Inn. Um, they actually, you know, decided to camp there and everything. And, well, they built, a, like, a wall and stuff like that. And, well, things aren't really looking good food-wise for the group. Um, um, they're just... You know, hunting food now, and of course, you know, Mark, who was brought in because, you know, he had a couple food, you know, to survive, and well, now it's starting to become uh, short and everything. Open. We've got wounded. Shit. What the hell are they doing? Come on. Come oh on. My God. What happened? Oh, what the hell? What's that? going on? We have time to explain. Lee, are you okay? Get him into the truck. I'll see what I can do. Cat, okay? Can you fix him? Jesus, Ken. Lee. I, I don't know. Lee. What the hell? You can't just be bringing new people here. What are you thinking? Hey, you want to calm down for a fucking hey, minute? What no, you want? I don't. I want to know why you thought bringing more mouths to feed was a good idea. 
I thought we could save his life. I'm the one that took his land. That makes me responsible. Well, that was a stupid thing to do. We are not responsible for every struggling survivor we come across. We have to focus on our group, right here, right now. Well, hang on. We haven't even talked to these people yet. Maybe they can be helpful. Come on, Lily. These are people. People trying to survive just like us. We've got to stick together to survive. The only reason you're here is because you had food. Enough for all of us. But that food is almost gone. We've got maybe a week's worth left. And I don't suppose you guys are carrying any groceries, are you? Um, no. Fine, you guys fight it out then. Welcome to the family, kid. Come over here and see what I drew. Wait, what? No, I... Just come on, okay? You know, you like to think you're the leader of this little group, but we can make our own goddamn decisions. This isn't your own personal dictatorship. Oh, come on, you're being dramatic. Everything always turns into a power struggle between you two. I'm not gonna be a part of that. Hey, I didn't ask to leave this group. Everyone was happy to have me distributing the food when there was enough to go around, but now that it's running out, suddenly I'm a goddamn Nazi. Kenny's right. Yeah, you're in charge of the food and the schedules, but you're not in charge of people's lives. Really? You weren't there. Lee made a choice. End of story. Once Katja patches that guy up, you can kick him out of here. Send him out on their own. I couldn't care less. But they at least deserve a fighting chance against the walkers. And for the record, Kenny wanted to leave those people behind. If Kenny would pull his head out of his ass for five seconds, he'd realize that I make these decisions to protect his family. We simply don't have enough food. I don't see any of you stepping up to make the hard decisions. My girl's got more balls than all of you combined. Dad, please. Why don't you go help Mark with the wall? <sighs> Things aren't looking good for the group right now. You know what? If you think I'm doing such a shitty job, then and here you comes do the it. hardest decision ever. One of the hardest decisions ever. The other one's That's about to all come. That's the food we have for today. You decide who gets to eat. Lynn. No, I'm serious. Pick up that food and start handing it out. You see how it feels to not have enough food for everyone. Now you have a choice of who gets to have who gets to eat. There are f four in total. So you gotta have to make a decision who eats. Of course, feed the children, but the other two is up to you and stuff. It's kind of hard. <sighs> but yeah, of course, the first two has to be the kids. You know, you have to you know care for the kids and everything. You know. Is he gonna be okay? I don't know. Can you give me a hand real quick? Sure. What do you need? Just apply some pressure here while I try to close this up. You know, I thought I was starting to get used to this. Sewing up people's injuries. But I mean, cuts and bruises are one thing, but Lynn, this man has no leg. I did the right thing. Yeah, I know you did. The right thing is just scary sometimes, I guess. Well, you've done all you can, Lee. Thanks for the help. Go ahead and check in on the others. I need a little space here anyway. Alright, well, things are looking good so far. Um, the guy's out cold. You know, maybe he'll survive it. Who knows? But anyway, I already know the outcome, but I'm just saying it like I haven't played it before. Okay. Where's your hat? I don't know. Can you help me find it? Sure. When did you lose it? I had it a couple days ago. I promise. If I find it, thanks. Why don't you go back to playing with Duck for a while? Okay. Here, Clem. You need something to eat. A 
There's two cheese and crackers, there is a beef jerky, and there's half an apple. Um, I would say give the kids the, um, the cheese and crackers to the kids. Um, and then you have your choice of either half an apple or beef jerky. Um, to me, the other two is really difficult, but it's up to you who eats or something. Um, I gave the half an apple to Carly, um, cause I mean, I guess she looks like she's hungry or something, you know. I know we should be grateful for beds, but no, I'm not. Drugstore? Yeah. Want something to eat? Have an apple, Carmen. God, I used to eat an apple every morning with some granola and six almonds, and that wasn't enough even then. But you know what? Yes. And then comes the difficult decision. Do you keep it for yourself, or do you really want it for to eat someone else? It's up to you. I think it's a difficult decision to have, you know, to choose who gets to eat, you know, because if you, you know, don't give the food to other people who didn't, you know, that you didn't choose, they'll hate you for it, and I think that's really difficult and everything. Um, I mean, of course, you know, you would, you know, first choice is, of course, the children and everything. But the other two is kind of difficult. I'm not saying like you. Know, the reason I gave it to Carly, like not saying I have like a, trying to have like a love relationship with her or anything. No, um, I think it's more of just you know her, you know, uh, keeping my keeping Lee's um, what he did a secret, and you know that's why I could trust her. That's why I gave it to her. Uh, and of course, since you did feed Duck, you really don't really need to give it to Kenny or uh, Katya. Um, since you already gave it to Duck, you know, they trust you enough. Um, Mark, on the other hand, the he's the damn board steady. I'm right trying. here. I didn't realize I was getting this weak already. What do you want? A handout? Oh, I got 60 cents in my pocket. If you'll shut up and quit being such a pansy. And of course, there's this asshole Larry. I really hate Larry. Here, eat something. I decided to give it to Mark because he said he was weak and everything. But of course, the other people are gonna like. We could use your axe. You mind if we take it? People, other people are really gonna yeah, hate you for not for feeding them. Here, Mark. This should help. Thanks. Hey, I'm the one doing all the work over here. You didn't think to give me the axe? Come on, Larry. What is it between you two? Why do you have a personal grudge against Lee? He knows why. Not such an easy job, is it? No, said it you was. bitch. I don't envy you. I don't know how you have the strength to do this every day. I don't have a choice. And don't freaking do it. I know I ran out of food before. Hey, it was a tough choice, but you took care of the kids. That's what a real man does. Exactly, you see. I'm serious about that offer to come with us. You've more than earned a ride on the RV with me. Still, I guess some people aren't going to be happy with your choices. You're out. What happened to my food? There's none left. You keep treating people like this, and your days in this group are numbered. You're one to talk, old man. Yeah, well, I don't see you working on that wall. Ken, Lee, come here, please. He didn't make it, did he? He lost too much blood. God damn it. I'm getting sick of this shit. Ken, come back. There's nothing... Let him go, Kaja. What? He just needs time. It's been a rough morning. That man you brought, I tried, but he was never going to survive. Well, at least he's not our problem anymore. 
What about the other kid? Nope. Here comes the biggest plot twist in every Walking Dead. Of course, bang him on the edge of the truck, and you'll be good. Freaking Mark. Ah, get away. Get away. Get away, gym teacher. I don't want to do push-ups today. Out. Ah, great. Ugh, gouge up the eyeballs. Oh man, that was close. That was close. Yeah. Thanks. Why'd you bring him here in the first place, asshole? Oh my God, this asshole. You're gonna get us all killed. You said he wasn't bitten. What? We asked you point blank, was he bitten, and you said no. He wasn't. Well, your not bitten friend here came back to life and tried to kill my wife. What? Wait, you all don't know? What the hell are you mm -hmm. talking about? It's not the bite that does it. You come back no matter how you die. If you don't destroy the brain, that's just what happens. It's going to happen to all of us. Everyone? I I guess so. I don't know. I all I know is that I've seen people turn who I know were never bitten. When I first saw it happen, we were all hiding out in a gym and everybody thought we were finally safe. But one of the girls, Jenny Pitcher, I think, I guess she couldn't take it. She took some pills. A lot of them. Someone went in the girls' room the next morning and God. Back up! Whoa, lady, relax. Me and my brother, we we just want to know if y'all can help us out. I said back off, Carly. Are you armed? Yeah, for protection. Dead could be anywhere. But uh, I think you got the upper hand here. Why do you need gas? Our place is protected by an electric fence. Generators provide the electricity. Our generators run on gas. Look, we own a dairy farm a few miles up the road. If y'all be willing to lower your guns, we, we can talk about some kind of trade. How y'all doing on food? We got plenty at the dairy. Lee, why don't you and Mark check the place out, see if it's legit. I'm going with you. I got your back if anything seems fishy. So, uh, what are y'all thinking? Let's do it then. Stay tuned, everyone, for part two of we'll bring episode two. Gas to your dairy. In exchange, you give us some food to bring back. We'll see how it goes from there. Sounds fair. A couple gallons should power one of our generators for a while. 